everybody. Frank back here. Happy Monday. This week we're doing caramels. We're only gonna be three videos this week. Five. It seemed, just seemed like it was getting a little redundant. And I noticed that uh, a lot of you weren't watching five videos a week, and you know, I don't blame you. So we're gonna cut them down to th you know Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, <clears throat> noon Eastern, like we have been. And uh, we'll take it from there. Hopefully, uh, you guys like it. You know, you know, like getting a few, a couple less notifications in a week. Well, today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite caramels. We have Flavor Art Caramel or Caramello, and this one's a rebottle. This is Flavora's Caramel. Both of these flavors are great flavors. I mean, Flavora. I mean, I'm sorry. Let's start with Flavor Art. They're just, that caramel is one of my favorite caramels. For a long time, it was my favorite caramel until a couple newer ones came out that we'll discuss later in the week. 1% gets you that gooiness, the sweetness that you want out of a caramel. You know, if you wanted to boost an RY4, you know, boost that caramel note in an RY4, or if you wanted to you know, help with a brown sugar note, then FA is where you want to be. Flavor, best brown sugar there is. Not so much caramel as it is brown sugar. I wasn't even going to put it on the list, but I was looking for another caramel that I thought I had in my stash, and I was physically looking for the bottle and couldn't find it. So I said, you know what? We'll just run through a flavor in there. So they're, they're like the uh, they're six man off the bench on this, on this one. So let's go check out what. Some other mixers have said about these flavors down ELR, and we'll come back and we'll wrap her up. Let's go, everybody. All right, we're going to start off with Flavor's Caramel. Uh, Warnings contains acetone and contains diacetyl. No wonder why it tastes so darn good. Let's see, sweet, 3% shaken vape, sweet and caramelly, and a must-have for any caramel flavor in one week. Wow, this is good. Two weeks, very tasty. Three weeks, still a very good caramel. Five weeks, this seems a little spicier than something like salted, something that spicier than something like Flavor West salted caramel. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michelle Hughes, 1%, and it does a great brown sugar. Milk, 3.5% caramel sauce in the pan. Just add sugar and water. Tastes like a Werther's. Pretty much when you see there, as far as common use, you know, common pairs with uh, flavor of butterscotch, uh, super sweet, flavor of cream, flavor of vanilla custard, TFA acetylpyrazine, vanilla pudding, sugar cookie V1, uh, biscuit from Inaware, vanilla custard V1 from Capella, and flavor of peanut butter. I can see that. We have 428 public recipes and 6034 private top rated one goes back to 2015 darth vapor with caramel banana macchiato uh uses flavor all flavor mix flavor banana at 0.6 caramel at 0.6 cream at 2 mocha at 1.6 and vanilla custard at 0.8 let's see Person being a Nautilus, 1.8 home coil. Yeah, I remember those days. This can be hard to hard to pick out the flavors using that. He also has Hatter, and this one is a mix of different flavors in different flavor houses. You have Flavor of Caramel at 1.5. You have Catalan Cream from FA, which is a creme brulee at four. What? Oh, Mount Baker Vapor Cheesecake at four and a half. You can tell this is 2015. Fresh Cream from FA at one. Graham Cracker from Mount Baker Vapor at one. Vanilla Custard at two from Flavor and Vienna Cream at two. Please note this is not an attempt at a clone of the original Hatter, which I've never had. Someone wanted me to make them a bottle with similar items. Originally, I wasn't feeling this one. Just pulled it back out after two months and it turned out pretty nice. All right. Uh, Tam has Jacked Up Sunday, which is one of my favorites. 
She uses Flavor War Butterscotch at two, caramel from Flavor War at one, caramel popcorn and peanuts from Winter Flavors at three, French vanilla ice cream and a half, Flavor War Popcorn at 0.75, toffee at 0.5, vanilla bean ice cream at four, and whipped cream from Flavor War at one. Nice picture of it. This mix here is one of my favorites from Tam. Uh, it's, yeah, it's everything. I mean, it's, everything in that description pretty much nails it. Let's see. Chiba Steba has a pecan pie filling, quick and easy. Four flavors, one to three days steep. Caramel at one, macaroon at 1.25, pralines with 2.25, vanilla custard at one and a half. Uh, Smoky Blues used it a bunch of times. I'm going to look and see which is her top rated is her Twisted Fried Pretzels. Uh, here she uses AP at 0.2, Beer Nuts at 0.2, Caramel 0.4, Cheesecake 0.2, Fried Dough 0.2, Graham Cracker 0.8, Rich Cinnamon, basically one drop for 30 mil, and Sweetness at 0.2. Different. Building a pretzel basically because Flavor didn't have doesn't have a pretzel concentrate, so it might be something to try. Looks like Michelle Hughes did it. it says it tastes like a sweet and salty pretzel. Hmm, may have to mix it and see. All right, now let's go to F A caramel. No warnings here, so no supposed bad stuff. Uh, let's see, must have mixers caramel is probably my favorite caramel for use as an enhancer add in. It has two uncanny abilities. One, it, it can add at low percentages, one or less, and almost sort of dark caramel essence without adding an ever present caramel flavoring and or aftertaste to a mix. Two, it has amazing ability at low percentages to tame a mix. It also acts like a cream. It can take the edges off a bakery and our cinnamon without muting or changing the flavor profiles at all. It is an indispensable tool for pies, ice creams, pastries, muffins, etc. Especially when fruits are involved. A lot of other caramels can clash with the fruits or can turn a mix into a fruit name and caramel profile. But now this one I've never tried on its own, no reason to, but it does extremely well for what this person using it for, which this is true. And so I've never single flavor mixed it because like what that gentleman said, that when that mixer said that, no need to. Uh, let's see, pretty much looks like uh, everyone is in agreement. So let's go see what the uh, flavor pairings are with it. So I use it with butterscotch and with cream and with ice cream and there's so many different ways look at all these notes tons and tons of notes let's get through all them get down to where we want to be here we go it's been used in 14,876 recipes with vienna cream 12896 with vanilla custard b1 cream fresh ap meringue tfa bavarian cream tfa vanilla swirl tfa brown sugar Fuji apple and sweetener. There's 3,000 public recipes on this one. And let's see how many private come up. Uh, 70,000 private recipes using this flavor. Uh, let's see what we got. We got number one is DIY or Die Apple Butter Original. It was 78 times it's been rated from goldfish uh i'm not quite sure why it's oh, okay maybe it was a competition see it's from 2016 uh buttercream at two the caramel at a half cinnamon dance swirl at a half fuji apple at four liquid amber at a half tfa vbic at one and vanilla custard capella at one okay let's say it's a reddit contest uh ella and a lot of people are familiar with Ella. This is her Gold Rush. 
Or she, this one she uses butterscotch dripple at two. Uh, Cal Pillar Chow for Mama Pops at 0.5. Uh, FA Caramel at one. Devin Cream at 1.5. And Lucky Shot at 10. Which Lucky Shot is basically a one shot. Uh, let's, let's look at cereal milk from Wing. Here he, uh, uses the caramel at two, so he runs it really high here. Uh, with strawberry. Look, strawberry ripe at three. F.A. meringue at two. Yellow cake at one. Uh, hazelnut at one. Graham cracker clear 1.3. Fresh cream at a half. Ethyl maltol at one. Brown sugar 0.8. Banana cream 0.5. And AP of 1.5. This is a... Really interesting mix. Really, really interesting. It says this recipe that started it all for him. Nice, sweet, milky cereal vape unlike any you've had. No citrus. Just milk on the bottom of a bowl of crunch berries or fruity pebbles. Add in a touch of F.E. lemon or cat lemon meringue pie for fruit loops. Or a touch of dark berries for blueberry. Yeah, I totally can see that. Hmm. I'm not much of a cereal vapor, but that one definitely is interesting. Let's see, Chapel with damn good coffee. Here she uses it at 1.75 with FA cappuccino, Irish cream, meringue up, and vanilla bourbon. Uh, 10 to 14 day steep. Uh, let's see, not Charles Manson, honeybee. Well, here, let's check out Copple, Not Your Mama's Apple Pie from 2016. Uh, F.A. Apple Pie at 2. Biscuit at a half. Brown sugar at 1. Car F.A. Caramel at 1.5. Cinnamon and Swirl at 0.5. Double Apple. Fuji Apple. Graham Cracker Clear. Lemon Sicily. Probably to boost up the uh, apple. And two apples from Inawera. All right. So that's what we're looking at. Nice, quick, and easy here on a Monday. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're in about 12 minutes. We'll see what it ends down to. Uh, hey, two really good caramels that hey, you can use them as additives. Uh, as you've seen, some mixers use them as the start, basically the start of the show, and they run them you know, one half, two percent on the F, on the FA and the flavor. You know, let's say flavor is more of a brown sugar, and you're going to use it. You know, no more than a half a percent, most likely. Uh, works well in bakeries, works works well in ice creams. I mean, you can take your pick. There's a lot of different ways you can use it. Alrighty, gang. That's it. Monday is done. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, everybody.